What's up YouTube? Welcome to Southside Adventures. We got another wreck dive today. I'm still in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, exploring a brand new wreck, a barge called the Hog Heaven. This was an amazing dive, so let's get in the water. The dive starts on seven feet of chop, and as soon as I get off the boat, I'm literally pulling myself down the mooring line for the first 20 feet. This was my first time fighting against the waves, and I was quite happy when I got the depth. Even past the 20 foot mark, I still had to descend another 45 to 50 feet before I was even close to the wreck. However, once the barge comes into sight, I'm blown away by the sheer size. During the dive briefing, the dive master said that this was a 180 foot barge that was sunk as part of an artificial reef program, and I thought he was exaggerating. Let me be the first to say, he wasn't. This is easily the biggest wreck I've ever dove on, and I know I've got a lot to explore. As I'm swimming around a part of the ship that collapsed, I can't believe the amount of fish that call this wreck home. I've never seen this much sea life in one area, even on other wrecks. And at this point, I'm really excited, as I know I'm going to get my money's worth on this dive. As I'm exploring, I get to see a different type of critter for the first time, a sea urchin. Surprisingly, these little pincushions are some of the ocean's most extreme animals, with very sharp spines that can easily penetrate a wetsuit, and some have a very strong venom. So I give it some space and go back to investigating other critters and other parts of the ship. I swim up and around to the top of the wreck and suddenly I find myself in a field of plant life and coral as far as the eye can see. This is a side of marine life I don't get to look at very often. I really like chasing fish regardless of where I'm diving, so often foliage falls to the wayside. However, this was pretty hard to miss and it was a nice change up to take a look at something new. However, this is still a big wreck, and I've got limited time, so I begin to head back down and start looking for entrance points again. Throughout the barge, there are several sections of hull that are partially collapsed, and they make nice wide entrances into the ship. This particular section is walled off, but a huge school of fish has claimed this section of the ship, and I got the rare opportunity to swim through the school without them darting off. However, fish weren't the only sight in the area. 
a trail in the sand, and a moving shell also caught my eye, and after getting closer, I saw that it was a huge sea slug. I've only ever seen these creatures in aquariums, and I doubt I'll ever see one in the wild again. After following a trail of junk to a different part of the wrecked barge, I saw a tunnel through the ship that a school of fish were just hanging out in. I'm not going to pass up on that opportunity, so I take a detour and swim through the wreck and the school. I also grabbed a snorkel that some unlucky diver before me had dropped, so I picked it up and held onto it for the dive, and disposed of it properly when I got back on the boat. After folding up and sticking the snorkel in a pocket, and as I was preparing to enter the wreck again, I saw something that I can only describe as a sea centipede. I've never seen anything like this, ever. So if anyone can identify this thing, please sound off in the comments. This wreck dive is more my speed, as it's a massive space with plenty of room to operate in, and with multiple ways to access open water if things did go wrong, I'm a lot more relaxed compared to when I was on the Ancient Mariner. I just took this dive to look at new sea creatures and become more confident in enclosed spaces. At this point, I've essentially swam a figure eight around the barge, and I know there is one more thing I want to check out. So I follow another junk path to the remains of a radio tower that is next to the wreck. This rusting, twisted lattice of metal is nicknamed the playground, and it fell off the main deck when the barge tipped over during the sinking process, and now it's the cherry on top to an already amazing dive. Both the barge and the playground seemed so surreal, and at several times on this dive, I felt like I was diving in a video game. Between the size of the wreck and the broad spectrum of life, this is my favorite dive by a wide margin. When I first heard that I was diving on an upside down barge during the dive briefing, I wasn't happy, but this wreck exceeded every expectation I had set, and I will definitely be revisiting this wreck again. I didn't realize this until I was back on the boat, headed to dry land, but I had just got done diving on a zoo at 70 feet. To say that this dive was a once in a lifetime opportunity is a massive understatement, and I can't believe I got to experience this dive. And that wraps up the dive. 
This is a trip I'm not going to forget about anytime soon, and I still can't believe I got to go on it. If you want to have your own amazing experiences like this underwater, check out the Ohana Dive Company in the description. If you liked the video, or if you saw something new, leave a like, and if you think you'd have an adventure that I'd like, sound off in the comments or hit me up on my socials. As always, links to that stuff is in the description. If you don't want to miss a future episode or any other of my adventures, subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for diving with me, and I'll see you all on the next adventure.